Okay, I'm going to start up my screen drawing program. Steve, you can get access to that mind map. I got no problems with that. But um, but it's a work in progress. It is not done. Make sure I'm in the right version. Yes. Okay. Let's start this so I can start drawing on the screen. And let's get our words set. So the words we need to be thinking of are canvas, which is this thing right here. We need to be thinking about the shelf, which is literally everything else around there. So this is, if, you're, if you've used ZBrush, you're already aware of it, but I just want to make sure you know the terms I'm using. Okay, so that's the shelf. This is called a tray. And of course, you've got your menus. Those are the first interface things that we need to be really crystal clear on. Okay, now the other thing that we need to know about the interface is Lightbox. Another really important word. Make sure you're, this is your friend. For us starting out, this is essential. And what I'm going to start out with is the default sphere project. So I'm just going to double click that and make sure that's the only thing that I'm working with. Now if you're really new to ZBrush, you're going to need to check out module zero to get a hang of everything that we're going to be doing from here. But let me walk you through a little bit of navigation for those who just are getting in here first thing and are not familiar, familiar with it. And the, the first thing I would say in terms of navigation inside of ZBrush is just use these three guys. Move, scale, and rotate. Okay, not only just use those three guys, but remember to hover and press control on the keyboard so you can, you can read about them and the hot key. The hot key is the last paragraph in this case. Last paragraph, last paragraph. Every interface item has this quick help. I can come up to perspective and there, press control. Come up to BPR, press control. Come over here to any one of these buttons and press control to get help on it. Now, if you don't know how to navigate inside of ZBrush, you can use these until you get comfortable with the hotkey so you can click and rotate. You can click and drag up and down. And you can click move to move back and forth. Now, I'm going to be using the hotkeys, which I'll go through real quickly. It's just alt click to move. I just click outside to rotate, and then that uh, Richard Simmons of Hotkeys, Alt, click, release, Alt, and drag up and down. But again, if you are not comfortable with this, you, you want to just be watching what I do. Don't get uh, to the point of following along, because you're going to fall behind. Uh, and then get into module zero, and come to our Hangout, and email us, and ask us to help. And we're here. This is what we do. We don't do anything else. Um, this is our company. It's our life. It's our job. It's what we're here to be doing. 